Welcome to clickmyproject.com Our product title is 3 level inverter based sand active power filter in 3 ways, 3 wire and 4 wire system. Let us see the abstract of our product. In this proposed design is a direct current space vector control of an active power filter based on a 3 level neutral point clamped voltage source inverter. The proposed method indirectly generate the compensation current reference by using an equivalent conductance of the fundamental component using active power filters dieseling voltage control. The proposed control can selectively choose harmonic current components by real time fast Fourier transform to generate the compensation current. The compensation current is represented in a rotating coordinate system with chosen switching states from a switching table implemented in a field programmable gate array. In addition, a 3 base 4 wire ABF based on a 3 level neutral point clamped inverter is also presented. <coughs> the proposed active power filter eliminates harmonics in all 3 bases as well as the neutral current. A 3 base 3 wire neutral point clamped inverter system can be used as a 3 base 4 wire system. Since the split DC capacitors provided a neutral connection to regulate and balance the split DC capacitor voltages. A new control method using a sign cubical gestures controller is proposed and is, is implemented in this process. The characteristics of the ABF system that means active power flow system uh, with an LCL ripple filters are investigated and compared with traditional current control strategies. To evaluate the inherent advantages, the simulation results validated the feasibility of the proposed active power filters and also in this implementation is done in MATLAB simulating environment and also this implementation we did in the flow basis only and also paper is taken as the reference. Next we see about the flow diagram of our process. This is the flow diagram. The input is a source and output is a load. Here various kinds of load is available. Linear, non-linear, balance and unbalanced load. So non-linear load is main is nothing but the which one load is activated in DC supply. So that is a non-linear load. The given supply is a AC, then the load is DC, then we using one rectifier. So that is a non-linear load. And also those non-linear load using the source voltage and current will be affected by the non-linear load. So that is the main problem. So that is rectified by using of sun active power filter. Using of hysteris blocks and IGBT blocks is used to inject the voltage and current into the sun active filter. A load is considered non-linear of its impedance changes with the applied voltage. The changing impedance means that the current drawn by a non-linear load will not be sinusoidal. Even when it is connected to a sinusoidal voltage, these non-sinusoidal currents contain harmonic currents that interact with the impedance of the power distribution system to create voltage distortion that can affect both the distribution system equipment and the loads connected to it. In the past, non-linear loads were primarily found in heavy industrial applications such as arc furnaces, large variable frequency drives, heavy rectifiers for electrolyte refining etc. The harmonics they generated were typically localized and often addressed by knowledgeable experts. Times have changed. Harmonic problems are now common in not only industrial applications but in commercial buildings as well. This is due to primarily to new power conversion technologies such as the switch mode power supply which can be found in virtually every power electronics devices. Next we see about the running process of our product. In this proposed implementation we done in MATLAB simulating environment. First open the MATLAB main window and create a new model file. After creating the new model file we arranging the elements as per the given flow diagram from simulating library browser. In the simulating library browser two kind of toolbox we used. One is the sim power system toolbox another one is the commonly used toolbox. So from that toolbox we getting the elements and then arranging the elements as per the given flow diagram. And in this proposed implementation, we did two kind of implementation. One is the three base four wire system and three base three wire system. Those are used in the sand active filter side. And after arranging that element, we assign the parameter value. Then 
we connect the scope from the commonly used block in the corresponding measurement devices. After that, we click the icon, uh, then the simulation will start to run. After, when the simulation is entered, double click the scope, the output waveform will be shown. So, the first one is the source voltage waveform, and the next one is the source current waveform. And this is the corresponding each basis voltage waveform. And this is the source current waveform. And this is the load current waveform. We can see up to 0.4 seconds the nonlinear load is changing the uh, voltage current waveforms. After that, the waveform will be changes. So, this is the voltage waveform in the output load side. And this is the corresponding nonlinear load output waveforms. And this is the sun active power filter input waveform 500 volt. So using of sun active power filter, the harmonics will be reduced by and also that injected the current and voltage into the source voltage and current. So that compensate the real and reactive power using of that filters. So the overall total harmonic distortion will be reduced using of this kind of sun active power filter. Thank you for watching this video.